Hi guys, today is a very sad moment for me because my DJI Mavic drone crashed into the seawater. You know how fatal salt water is to electronics. My DJI Mavic drone crashed while we were filming the Bancarera or boat race. It forced landed itself on the sea disabling the pilot control. We did check all the details why it crashed and found out that it was not a pilot error. There was something wrong with the drone. It could be a software malfunction, a software bug, or hardware malfunction. We were flying the Mavic drone to chase the fast boats in Bancarero or boat race. We might be pushing this drone to its limits. Roughly, these fast boats can run as fast as 70 kilometers per hour, especially if the sea waves are minimal. Well, this DJI Mavic Air drone is only capable of speed around 68 kilometers per hour. And sometimes it can hardly catch up with the boats, especially if they are in full speed and the wind direction is against it. So, we flew the drone in sports mode to maximize its speed. As you can see, the firmware on the drone is up to date, so it's not a firmware issue. We are also using an updated DJI GO 4 app, so it's neither an app issue. We have 4 batteries and more or less, they're in their 21st charge cycle. So battery might not be the cause, but it could be the trigger, because the cause of the drone crash is voltage related. We have a theory that the cause of the drone crash was its software, just our theory. The DJI Mavic drone might have detected that the drone motor is consuming too much battery because of the high speed maneuvers in sports mode, to the point that its software detects this abrupt change of battery voltage went beyond its tolerance level. This might have triggered the critical low voltage and made the DJI drone execute its forced landing routine. That could be the drone safety precaution routine, but the problem is, we were filming above sea water. It was too fast and we were flying the drone only 10 meters above the sea water. I was so shocked that the drone by itself disabled my control and forced landed on the water. It only took like 5 seconds and bam. The drone was gone. It was so painful. Well, it took around 45 minutes before my dad was able to ask for help. They rode the boat and went to the last location of the drone before it lost its connection from the remote control and the phone app. My dad dived 6 meter deep water and tried to search the area within 25 meters of radius from the drone's last known location. They have to search that wide because the sea current might have swept the drone away. It took about like almost 15 minutes before they were able to retrieve the drone. What a relief. It was sitting there at the bottom of the sea around 6 meters deep and 250 meters from the shoreline. It was found by one of the local rescue swimmers. Thanks to them from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'm a bit relieved that the drone was found. But the very big question is, will it survive? Will it still work? That was seawater. Survival of most electronics submerged for a long time in salt water has a very slim chance. Also, I've never heard or found on the internet any Mavic drone that survived saltwater immersion for more than one hour in 6 meter deep salt water, subjected to water pressure of the deep sea, and with turned on batteries. Well, let's see if this drone can survive. If it can, then this could be the first DJI Mavic drone to survive with a crash scenario as fatal as that. I will post an update on my next upload. Watch out for it. And hey friend, if you're not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified every time I have a new video. I promise, your watch time will be worthy. Well, we were able to extract the flight log details from the phone and the complete crash video recording from the drone's memory card. It was very painful watching the drone diving into the water while recording a few seconds of its life underwater, slowly drowning its electronics and everything with salt water. I'm sure you want to see it too on how it crashed. Again, it's not a pilot error. Here are the complete details and footage of the drone crash, including the complete flight log.
Our first red flag was the warning, strong aircraft interference. The drone disconnected from the remote and executed its return to home routine. It did not cause an alarm for us because this normally happens when you fly the drone too far away. Then, after 30 seconds, the drone reconnects to the controller. Then, we have another red flag warning. Video cache has stopped. Well, this is just for the recording, so it's not related that much to the cause of the crash. Then, we have forward and backward sensors issue. We didn't mind it that much because we were in sports mode. I think the forward and backward sensors are not being used in sports mode, but we did fly the drone near the shore. So here, after seeing the drone still has 75% of its battery, we decided to proceed filming the boat race approaching the finish line. Then, at exactly 3 minutes and 45 seconds of flight time, we received the killer red flag, the critical low voltage. But as you can see, the battery is still at 68% and it suddenly dropped to zero. 